Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the RC, RC oscillator, also known as a square wave generator, also known as a, uh, a stable multi-vibrator. They all kind of mean the same thing. But instead of using uh, transistors, we are going to be using logic gates, in particular inverter, also known as NOT gates. For example, you could certainly use the CD4069 CMOS IC, which is a, a pack of uh, six inverter gates but you could also use a CMOS IC that has a NOND, NOND gates because with uh, a NOND gate you can just uh, put together the two input the two inputs and you yeah and uh, the thing is going to be uh, behave like a like a NOND gate anyways let's get started so this is the circuit it's a simplified circuit but here you have one one not gate. Here is another not gate. This is your input here. This is your output there. And uh, you probably know that the not gate functions as follows. If you give it a high input, in this case, let's say five volts, you're going to get a low, a low output, zero volt. And uh, if you give a low output, you get a high output. If you give a low input, you get a high output. So that's why you get 5 volt, 0, 5 volt. Okay, so this is basically our starting point. I mean, we are going to generate a square wave, a square wave. So we are somewhere after the transient, transient phase as a occurred so we are like in a uh, steady state thing so here we are looking at uh, high we are high on the output and we're gonna see that it's gonna switch to low and then back to high hopefully okay so this is the initial setup that i have chosen i'm high on input so high on the output you have zero in the middle so here five volt because it's connected here so, and here you have a capacitor. On this plate you have 5 volt, and on that plate you have 5 volt. So I'm assuming the capacitor is discharged. Okay, so, and here there is no uh, different difference of potential, so it's not doing anything. But, 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 what's gonna happen is that the capacitor is gonna start charging, because here you have 5 volt, and here you have 0 volt, this is gonna induce a current going this way. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next. Okay, so don't pay attention to the red stuff. Only pay attention to the black stuff. Actually, I'm even gonna get rid of this. Okay, so as I was saying before, you have, because of that difference of potential, you have some current that's gonna show up in that resistor. So the current goes like this. And because of that, the the bottom plate, the bottom plate of the capacitor is going to go down in voltage. So it's going to go from 5 volt, from 5 volt to 0 volt, and the capacitor is going to be fully charged, fully charged. C is not C is now C is now completely charged. So we have 0 volt here this changes to zero volt. I yeah, forgot to say that once once the capacitor is fully charged the current stops because of this. Okay so there's no more current. Okay so I can get rid of this. And this is zero. But remember, this is a NOT gate, so that goes to 5, and this goes to 0. 
but now pay close attention to the uh, red stuff because now it makes sense remember that the capacitor is fully charged so it has a difference of potential of 5 volts so we have 5 minus 0 equal 5 when this changes from 5 volt to 0 volt that difference of potential has to remain 5 volts so instead of seeing 5 volts here you're seeing 0 volts and instead of seeing 0 volt here you are seeing minus 5 but the charge is the same the difference of potential is the same so I'm gonna have to go to the next board but this is the situation so this is the situation so all the black stuff is whatever we add from the uh, the previous slide except that uh, this has become 5 volt and this has become 5 volt minus 5 and minus 5 because of this minus 5 here so what's going to happen is that the capacitor is going to discharge and it's going to charge the other way in one one uh, in one go so here that's what I'm showing you have the 5 volt and the minus 5 so you, you, you're going to have a current developing in the resistor going this way going this way and that's gonna charge that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna charge the capacitor the other way okay so I need to go to the next slide so this is what we had we had minus five volts here wait don't pay attention to this because it's it's gonna be the result of what I'm showing here so as you remember 5 volt minus 5 so there's a current induced here and it's going this way so it's going to make this plate the bottom plate go up so it's going to go from minus 5 to plus 5 so it's charging so, so it discharged and charged the other way compared to the, uh, the other slide okay so now let's go to the next slide okay so this is what we had on the previous slide if you go back to it you'll see that it's exactly that okay but 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 we have 5 volt on the bottom plate so this has to be 5 volt this has to be 5 volt this has to be 0 because of the switching here another switching here so that's 5 volts but uh, this capacitor must maintain its difference of potential so if this thing goes to 5 volt this has to go to 5 volt and this has to go to 10 volt that's why you see the stuff in red so the stuff in red is what happens after uh, the, the two gates have switched their inputs so now that's what we have we have 5 volt here 10 volts here so next slide okay so this is where we we are at C charge 10 volt 5 volt so now this goes to 10 this goes to 10 and now we have a difference of potential across the resistor so it's going to induce a current so what's going to happen is that it's going to this bottom plate is going to go down it's going to basically discharge and it's going to it's going to discharge and charge the other way so what's going to happen is that this 10 volt is going to go down to 0 it's going to go down to 0 but I'm going to stop at 5 volt I'm going to stop at 5 volts so that I'm back to the initial slide so I'm going to be I'm going to stop here so basically the capacitor is now discharged and it's on its way to be charged the other way so it's going to go 
because there you still have a difference of potential. So the current is not zero here, it's still going. So this is gonna go this is gonna go uh, lower towards zero. Okay. But I'm gonna stop here because there's too many slides. Anyway, I think the, in the next video I'm probably gonna talk about uh, why I described this particular circuit. Uh, I don't have a particular interest in logic gates, so but I will explain why I came about this circuit and why I felt the need to explain how it works. All right, see you around. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. It helps the channel and it makes me feel good about myself. All right, see ya.